I got something a little different today. I'm going to show you my little rig and my canoe, my MacGyver setups. Um, sometimes you need to make attachments uh, that, you, that you can't get at the store. I have a canoe. And they don't sell a rudder for a canoe or any that I know of. So me being the MacGyver that I am, I made me one. So I want to just show y'all what I did. It's fully foot control. My steering mechanism. All I have to do is foot control. Control it. Um, if I hit something, it's gonna go up. So I got it where it'll ride up if I hit something. And I also have a rope right here with a little tag. Where I can pull it back in tight. So let me show you that out so I hit something that goes up then I'm back in the water I just have a little rope attached to it where I can pull it back down down tight so all I did uh, I think this is a two and a half or two inch piece of PVC pipe T and just two pieces of pipe I drilled through just put a big old boat some nuts and washers put a butterfly washer and uh, nuts set up here so I could take so I can actually take this off so when I'm trying to launch or pick up, I can actually take it off without tearing it up too much, if need be. And I just put it in the back of the boat, like that. But yeah, and then my rudder, see how I did that? Just took a piece of PVC pipe, cut it, kept the top for a little extra strength. Through and through. Swivel, made me a stop. What this is this is the stop that's just a little rope to help pull it back in now the rudder itself is this was a three inch piece of pvc pipe that i heated with the heat gun and made it flat put it between two pieces of plywood flattened it out and then i made a pattern and uh, i doubled it up so this is actually two pieces that i screwed together all right, so now the mount that I used, just a piece of three quarter inch plywood. Now you have to put a couple of holes in your boat. Yeah, I got some holes here that I made a little mistakes, you know, uh, 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 prototyping and designing, but this happens. Uh, so three bolts, I have it sturdy, not going anywhere. Nice play, nice turn, nice reaction time. Uh, the first time I tried it, I was really amazed how well it performed. And then for a 13 foot canoe, it really makes a difference when I turn. It really, really does. So now I just put my little my rudder back on. Butterfly set up, we're good to go. Bam, I come on inside, let me show y'all what I did. I ran the pecs. <laughs> down the side I, re I used three quarters right here because it was a tough bend uh, I wanted to keep some strength so I just changed three quarters right there and stayed with the, the traditional half inch and worked it on down and that's what you have I used a piece of uh, PVC pipe bolt through the middle throwing through so all you have to do is push your foot Foot, pure foot power. <laughs> MacGyver Martian <laughs> rig. What you gonna do, huh? You have to adapt to the environment due to the winds dogging me out. So if I would have had a trolley motor, which it has to be registered to have a trolley motor. So uh, my boat was uh, gifted to me from a friend. So we don't have any numbers or anything to register. So I deal with the wind with my rudder. And it really makes a difference because I can keep in the zone when I'm casting. When that wind starts dragging me to the right, instead of grabbing my paddle, I can just turn my rudder and it's going to keep me in the zone and I can <coughs> stay on that bite a lot better. I mean, it really works great. I think it came out pretty nice. Doesn't look too rigged. Uh, my first prototype. I'm, pr I'm pleased with it. Worked very well. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I need y'all to like, subscribe to my channel, man. 
Leave a comment below whether you like it, don't like it. I don't care. Just tell me something. Leave an emoji. It's all good. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Marsh Martian. Oh.